Hello and welcome to another Motion Industries how-to video. My name is Tom Clark, I'm your host, and in today's how-to, I'm gonna give you an overview of the various parameters of a motor that are identified on a nameplate. Now, electric motors all come with a nameplate like we have right here. The nameplate serves to identify the various parameters of the motor. The parameters are matched to the needs of the application to ensure the motor can perform to the expectations of the user. The nameplate provides a description of the motor. Let's take a look at the information that this nameplate is going to provide to us. The model number is shown on the nameplate. Now, this is the method manufacturers use to identify their motors. And this is probably the most important part of a nameplate. But what other information should we expect to find? Well, you can expect to find the horsepower rating. Motors are horsepower rated based on their ability to convert electrical power to mechanical work. This amount of work is produced at maximum voltage and maximum base speed. The base speed is measured in RPM or revolutions per minute. Voltage rating is voltage needed to run the motor. Most common voltages are 23460. Now this is known as dual voltage or a motor that can run on either one of the voltages like this motor we have here. 575 volts is also a commonly found voltage. I keep some in my pocket all the time. It's Oh yeah, I got one right there. Now the amperage rating is the maximum amperage the motor will draw at full load. Knowing the amperage rating enables a user to size the motor starter or inverter in case it's going to run as a variable speed application. The frame size is a critical parameter of a motor as well. Frame sizes are done as industry standards. Motors with the same frame size can expect to have similar overall length, base to center shaft dimension, and shaft size. Motor enclosure is very important. Oftentimes, this is three or four alpha characters. Common types of enclosures are TEFC, totally enclosed fan cooled. In this case, the motor has a fan blade attached to the shaft at the opposite drive end. As the motor shaft rotates, so too does the fan blade, thereby cooling the motor. Another common type is TENV, totally enclosed non-ventilated, and ODP, open drip proof. Understanding what motor you have or what type of motor you need begins with the nameplate. The information found on the nameplate is important. So, next time you want to learn more about the application and the motor, you want to start with the nameplate. Hopefully this will help you with your practical application and if you have any questions about anything you saw here today, don't forget to contact your nearest Motion Industries branch location. And when you're dealing with motors or anything on the job site, Make sure you're wearing your personal protective equipment, whatever it calls for. PPE is so important. And you know what? It's also important to look for other Motion Industries how-to videos with me, Tom Clark, as your host. Hey, thanks for watching today.